Hi, Blair from the Office of Distance Education here at CBU back again to give you some more tips, tricks, and resources to help you make the best of your online learning. Today I'm going to be talking about messaging etiquette and not in the form of text messages or instant messages, but more of the form of discussion post messaging, chat messaging, email messaging between your classmates and you or your professor and you. So having good messaging etiquette is important because it'll help you better move along discussion posts, help you be more respectful and just a better classmate and student to both your classmates and your professor. So my first etiquette tip is to make sure you plan out what you're going to type out uh, kind of articulate what you're going to say. Um, the great thing with messaging and, and text is that you have time to kind of think out what you want to say, how you want to say it, um, instead of like video calling where you kind of, you still have time to think about it, but when you say it, you can't edit it and you can't go back and be like, oh, I meant this instead. Let me change that. So really plan out what you're going to say and how you're going to say it. With that said, make sure you're staying on topic with what you're typing. Don't trail off. Don't go down rabbit holes. Um, make sure you're staying true to what you're trying to get across because you don't want whoever is reading what you're typing to have to read through paragraphs of just stuff that's not really related to the main topic. Or if you're sending an email, you don't want the professor or whoever you're sending the email to to have to you know scroll down and be like, what what are they trying to say here? <laughs> so make sure you're, you're keeping it. You're keeping Keeping it concise, keeping it true to the point, um, unless there's certain requirements that your professor wants you to do um, in your discussion post or chat or whatever you're, you're typing, uh, just make sure you're staying, staying true to the main point. My next main tip is to make sure you're using the appropriate language and style in your um, discussion posts, emails, whatever you're typing. Avoid using excessive capitalization or punctuation. Um, you might be you might be a little excited to be writing a discussion post, but you shouldn't be that excited where everything's in all caps and you have 20 exclamation marks at the end of each sentence. Um, you know, just make sure you're, you're not doing that. Don't use any slang or text speak. Um, make sure you're communicating like you would in a regular classroom. Uh, again, going back to that discussion post, if you're replying to somebody's post or you guys were talking about the Civil War, you know, don't don't be like, yo, what up classmate? It's your boy Blair here. Uh, I def agree with you with what you said in regards to the Civil War. It was whack jack and def a part of history that'll be remembered for years, bro. Um, anyways, catch you later on the next discussion Dr. J will have for us peace you know don't do that I, I don't think you should probably talk like that ever but especially not in a, uh, a classroom format my next tip is to make sure you're being considerate and respectful to um, your classmates. This is kind of more for discussion posts or chats. Um, if you disagree with somebody or you know you, you just don't kind of don't like what they said um, and you want to get your point across, um, make sure you're not you know saying you're wrong, I'm right, you know and that's it. You make make sure you're saying stuff like I, I disagree with your point about this um, because of this and. You make sure you're kind of directing that argument in a in a polite and positive manner instead of just directly attacking them. One last tip is to make sure you're citing your sources. Um, again, going back to discussion posts or chats, um, if you're if you if you say some information that you you saw or looked up, make sure you're putting that in your discussion post, citing it. Um, your professors might have some guidelines on how you want to do that. Um, it could just be as simple as, you know, according to this article by so-and-so on this date, they said this, or it could be as complex as writing out a whole citation for it. Um, just make sure you're checking in with your professor on what they want to do, um, just so you can give proper credit to the person whose information you got. So messaging etiquette is, is pretty pretty common sense stuff, you know, treating others with respect, making sure you're using that appropriate language and, and style, make sure you're staying on, on topic, not rambling off. Um, my, my best advice, I kind of hit on it earlier, is to just treat it like you would 
um, if you were in a regular classroom and, and talk on those discussion boards, chat as if you were talking to a classmate in classroom in the classroom or talking to your professor in the classroom. So um, just kind of imagining it like that. So that's been it on my tips for messaging etiquette. My coworker Ed is gonna be doing a video on video conferencing etiquette. So make sure to check out that. He's gonna have a lot of good tips for you guys. Um, and especially during now when I feel like a lot of us, if not all, all of us are doing um, video conferencing, those, those tips will definitely come in handy. So I hope these tips have been helpful for you. Um, if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, make sure you uh, contact us at distanceed at coladomesa.edu. Um, and until next time, I've been Blair from the Office of Distance Ed. Make sure to stay safe and wash your hands.